Who hears the broadcast? Step 1. Use ping to generate traffic. PC0 desktop command prompt. Okay, PC0, click desktop command prompt. Ping 182.168.18. Ping 182.168.18. Okay, mm. enter. Success. This is Milan Fiordi. And IP goes, uh, and the IP range is from 1 to 8. This is Milan 10, and the IP range uh, from 33 to 40. Milan 10. And Milan 20, IP is from 17 to 24. Very good. Unlike a LAN, a VLAN is broadcast domain created by switches. Using packet tracer simulation mode, ping the end devices within their own VLAN. Generate an examine broadcast traffic in a VLAN implementation. Switch to simulation mode. Okay, click here, simulation. Edit filters, okay, click here, edit filters. Click show all none, okay, click here, show all none. Now you can see all protocols selected up here. Also, all protocols selected, okay. And click again on show all none. No protocol selected. And up here, no protocol selected. Check ICMP checkbox only ICMP. Okay, is uh, ICMP for IPv4 only ICMP? No other protocols. Close this. Okay, only ICMP and close this. Add complex PDU tool. Okay, this is the complex PDU. This. Okay, now you can see the add complex PDU uh, label. Okay, click here. And click here uh, on PC0 because PC0 will be the source. And now this uh, create complex PDU window will appear. And on destination IP address, use 255, 255, 255. This is the broadcast address. Okay, here 255, 255, 255, 255. The broadcast address, sequence number one, sequence number one, and one shot time zero, one shot time zero. Within the PDU settings, the default for select application is ping. Okay. By the default, ping is selected. What are at least three other applications available for use? Okay. Uh, domain name service, finger, file transfer protocol, HTTP, HTTPS, IMAP, NetBIOS, uh, POP3, SFTP, SNMTP, SNMP, SSH, Telnet, TFTP, and other. Okay, select ping. Okay, but uh, enter the values again, the destination IP address broadcast 255, 255, 255. Sequence number one, uh, one shot time zero. Okay. Now click on create PDU. And now the Okay, uh, click here on select. Okay, click here. Okay, now the message appears on PC0. Okay, the color of message may vary, but should appear on PC0. And click capture forward. Okay, this is capture forward button. This is the button. Capture them forward. 
and click here. Okay, the message goes to the switch. Click again. The message goes to all PCs on the same VLAN. In this case, in this case on VLAN 30. Not to VLAN 20, not to VLAN 10. Okay. Only on VLAN 30. The broadcast domain only on VLAN 30. What happened to the packet? The packet is sent to the switch and then broadcast to all the PCs that belong to the same VLAN. And in this case, is VLAN 30. Now, you can decrease or increase the speed using this uh, using the slider. I will use the maximum speed. But now, the next step is that each PC will respond to the source, in this case, PC0. OK, and click on Play. Click on Play. Click here. OK, the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven responses okay okay and this message will appear buffer full only click on clear event list very good repeat this process for pc8 and pc16 okay click here on Add complex PDU and click here on PC8. Destination IP, uh, broadcast, sequence one, one shot time zero. Create PDU. Okay, click here on select. Now the message appears on PC8. And click here on capture forward button. The messages goes to the switch. Click again, and the messages goes to the PCs on the same VLAN. In this case, VLAN VLAN 10. The broadcast only on VLAN 10. Okay. Now each PC will respond to the source. In this case, PC8. And click here on play. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And wait a moment. Okay, wait a moment and clear out even list. Very good. Okay, and click here at complex PDU and click on PC16. Destination IP address broadcast. Sequence number one, one shot time zero. Create PDU. Now you will see a message over PC16. Click on, okay, click here. Messages goes to the switch, click again. Messages goes to the PCs on the same VLAN and play. Each PC will respond to the source. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven.
And wait a moment. Clear event list. Okay. Reflection. If a PC in Milan 10 sends a broadcast message, which devices receive it? All end devices from Milan 10. In Milan 20, if a PC in Milan 20 sends a broadcast message, which devices receive it? All end devices on VLAN 20. If a PC in VLAN 30 sends a broadcast on message, which devices receive it? All end devices on VLAN 30. What happens to a frame sent from PC in VLAN 10 to a PC in VLAN 30? They go to real time. For example, ping from PC0 to another VLAN, another PC on a different VLAN, for example, PC8, from VLAN 30 to VLAN 10. And PC8 IP address is 137. Okay, on PC0, ping to 137. Ping. Okay, ping fails. So the answer is the packet will be dropped. Which ports on the switch light up if a PC connected to port 11 sends a unicast message to a PC connected to port 13? Okay, click here on select most. Uh, Move the mouse over this triangle. Now you you can see this is facet one, facet two, three, and this is uh, ten, and this is eleven. The port connected to PC twenty one. Okay, PC twenty one is connected to port eleven on on the switch. and sends a unicast message to a PC connected to port 13. Okay, this is 13, PC 19. Okay, PC 21 sends a unicast message to PC 19. Okay, which ports on the switch light up if a uh, PC connected to port 11, PC 21, sends a unicast message to a PC connected to port 13, PC 19? Okay, only ports 11 and 13 will light up because it's a unicast message. Unicast message goes to one PC to another PC, no more. Review the IP address on PC 19. It's 121, it's 21, and then go to PC 21, desktop common prompt, ping to PC 19, 182.168.121. And before to press enter, go to simulation, Okay, and press enter. And now a new message will appear over PC21. Click on capture forward. Okay, here, capture forward. Okay. 
Okay, and the message goes only to PC 19. Only to PC 19 because uh, it's a unicast, unicast message. Okay, and now PC 19 will respond to PC 21. Click here, click here. Now, very good. Real time. Very good. Uh, which ports on the switch liked if uh, PC connected to port 2 sends a unicast message to PC connected to port 23? Okay, uh, port 2, 21, 22, 23 is PC 10, the destination, and port 2, port 2 is PC 1. Okay, PC1 sends a unicast message to PC10. Okay, uh, review the IP address of PC10. 39, go to PC1, command prompt. Okay, PC10, PC10 is 39, PC1. Ping 192.168.139. Before to press enter, before to press enter, go to simulation. And now press enter, enter. Okay, you will see a message on over PC1. And click here on capture forward. Click again, 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 click, click, capture forward, and ping fails, because the message is trying to go from VLAN 30 to VLAN 10, and they are different VLANs, okay. Close this real time. Which ports on the switch light if a PC connected to port 2? Okay, uh, PC1 sends Unicast message to PC connected to, peer, to port 23. PC10. Only port number 2 will light up because the message will fail to reach the destination. In terms of ports, what, what are the collision domains on the switch? Each port is its own collision domain. In terms of ports, what are the broadcast domains on the switch? Each VLAN is its own broadcast domain. Okay, thank you very much.